everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria Montefusco and I am a lover of all things makeup. I love mainstream brands. I love indie brands. I love colorful eyeshadow. I love neutral eyeshadow. I love glossy lips like I have on today. I love matte lipstick. I love everything when it comes to makeup. And so today I actually have a really cool video that I've now filmed three times <laughs> for you all. The first time I filmed this video, the file got corrupted. The second time I filmed this video, my camera just cut out halfway in, in the middle of me filming. So this is the third time I filmed this video. I'm hoping the third time is the charm. Anyways, uh, one of you all requested that I film a little bit of a tutorial on how I achieve my dewy sort of natural glowy base. And I thought that was a really interesting idea and uh, getting my base makeup to the way it looks now has been very much a trial and error process So when I saw that comment, I was like, yeah, I would love to film a video like that And I think that was a really really good idea uh, If you all have any other ideas for videos, please leave them down below I am super happy to look at those requests and, and see which ones really make sense for my channel So if you would like to see how I do my base makeup, you should definitely keep on watching details of the this look are down in the description below and actually uh, I'm using a palette on my eyes that I will be reviewing in a uh, video that's that will be coming out soon so look forward to that anyways if you'd like to see how I achieve my dewy base you should definitely keep on watching all right everybody so the first step to achieving my dewy base is using this particular product from Glossier. So this is the Glossier Future Dew. This is an oil-based serum that I apply all over my face. And this just really is my first step to achieving glowier, more moisturized skin. So I take about one to two pumps of this and apply it on my face and I use my Real Technique sponge to uh, blend that into my skin. So that's the first step to my routine. So as you can see, it just gives a nice glowy base to the skin and this is the perfect canvas for my other base products. So the next base product that I use before going into my foundation products is a primer. So this is my favorite primer. This is the Becca Blacklight Priming Filter. So I take about a pump or two of this depending on the day and, and how much um, glowiness I want added to my face. And I also apply this with my beauty sponge as well. So this product, um, unlike the Future Dew, I feel like the Future Dew gives you, like the name implies, like a very dewy look. I feel like this has more like pearlescent -y kind of pigments in here, so it really gives your face a glow. So I like using this in conjunction with the Future Dew because the Future Dew, I get this like wet, very, you know, hydrated skin look, and with this, I get more of a glow to my skin. So as you can see, my skin now has more of a glow to it as well as that dewiness from the Glossier product. So next I go in with my foundation and there's a few different foundations slash like BB creams that I use on a regular basis. But if I want more coverage than just like a BB cream would provide, my favorite foundation is the Pat McGrath one. This foundation is a very thin liquidy consistency, but I also find that, that makes it very buildable. So when you put on one coat of this, you're getting very much like light to medium-ish coverage. If you put on two coats of this, you're gonna get more of a true medium coverage. So what I tend to do is I tend to put on one coat of this foundation, and then I go in with another product Product, which you'll be seeing next to provide a little bit of extra coverage and also bring some life back into my skin. So one pump of this all over the face. Oh, and I forgot to mention what shade I wear. So I wear the shade Light 2 in this foundation, which is the second lightest shade in the line. And this is also more of a yellow slash warm undertone. So 
So that's what the Pat McGrath foundation looks like on the skin. As you can see, it's definitely light coverage, but it did give me a little bit of coverage to cover some red spots, acne, all that fun stuff. The next product I use on my face is actually a favorite of mine. I absolutely love this product, and I'm not sure if I have ever seen a lower priced, more like drugstore alternative to this. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have mine in the shade one fair which this is the lightest shade i absolutely love this product and if you haven't tried this product you should definitely try it because it has multiple uses i tend to use it on top of my foundation to provide additional coverage and also a little bit of glow because this product is pretty glowy and gives you a very like dewy natural finish to the skin but this product can be used as an, on its own as a bb cream this product can be used under foundation to provide that glowy sort of base before you go in with your foundation this product can be used as a high Highlighter on the high points of your face if you prefer something like that as well. This product has so many different uses and two really good things that has recently uh, been happening to this product is one, Charlotte Tilbury has now been selling um, mini sizes of this. So if you don't want to commit to like the $45 that this costs for the full size, but you want to try the product, you can now buy it in a mini. So I thought that was great. And also she recently expanded the shade range um, to go a little bit deeper and also to fill in some gaps in between some of the shades that were missing. So I thought that was great as well. So there's more shades than ever. You could also try a mini if you don't want to commit to the full size. So I take this, I apply it all over my face. And again, going in with my real tech Nick sponge blend it out. See, look at the life that just adds back into my skin. I absolutely love the Charlotte Tilbury product. I think it's really, really good. So the next step that I do is I do a little bit of spot concealing. I do my spot concealing in two separate steps. One before I go in with my cream bronzer, cream blush, and cream highlighter, and I do another bit of spot concealing afterwards. So I take the Maybelline Cover Stick, and this is in the shade Ivory. This is a really old product. I've been using this since I started doing my makeup when I was about 12 or 13 years old. Um, and this is the only like spot concealer I've ever used. So I probably need to try something different, but for now I do like this product. And I take a AOA Studios E116 brush. This is just like an angled concealer brush. So I take that and I, right now I'm going to apply it to the sides of my nose and also in between my eyebrows where there's some redness. And then later on, uh, after by bronzing, hi uh, highlighting and blush, I will take this again and just spot concealer seal on my forehead, on the sides of my face, anywhere that I have like some acne or, or pimples or anything like that. So I always take my finger and warm up the concealer and use this to pat it in just because I feel like it provides a lot more of a natural finish to the concealer and it also just helps it melt and meld into the skin. That is spot concealing round one. So the next step that I do is I go into my cream bronzer. There are two cream bronzers that I really like, but today I'm going into my Fenty cream bronzer. Uh, this is in the shade 02 Butter Biscuit. So they have a shade before this, but that's a very cool tone, more like contour shade. So this is the lightest shade that's more of a warm tone. And I go in with my Refer number four brush. It's an angled natural hair face brush. And I just dip into the product and apply it uh, all along my hairline, onto my cheekbones, and I use my finger and apply a little bit on the sides of my nose as well, just to give my face a little bit more warmth and depth to it. So I really use stippling motions when I do this, just because I don't wanna move around my base products that I've already applied and just make that go away. So I really use this sort of as like a stippling brush, but I like the angle of it because when I go into my cheekbones, it really helps me just be able to map out where those are.
So this is the bronzer applied to the face. And what I really love about cream products, especially cream blush and cream bronzer, is that it's really hard to mess them up because if you do apply too much to the face, you can always go back with your sponge or your brush and blend it out. You can always go back with your foundation sponge and add a little bit more of foundation to your face just to make sure that you don't apply too much. I just find that the products are a lot easier to manipulate. They're a lot harder to mess up. They're just more goof proof. So that's why I really love cream face products in particular. So next I am going to go into my cream blush and today I'm going to be using the Glossier Cloud Paint and this is in the shade Dusk. So this is a very light nude sort of blush shade and I really like using this shade of blush in particular when I'm going to do a brighter eye look which I am planning on doing that today. So I'm going to take a tiny tiny little bit of this because you only need a tiny tiny amount. This stuff is really pigmented and I'm going to dot this on the cheeks and blend it out with the sponge. So there is the blush applied. As you can see, it's very much a natural shade of blush. So I like that when I'm doing a little bit something more crazy on the eyes. So next up, highlighter. These have been some of my favorite highlighters and really one of the favorite, my favorite brands that I found in 2020. And this is the Ritua de Fi, my favorite, one of my favorite brands. And this is their, uh, the Sorcerer Metamorphic Highlighter. Ritua de Fi has a few different types of highlighters. They have like highlighter toppers, which have more of a sheer base, but just provide a little bit of extra sparkle and glow to the face. They have these like metamorphic highlighters, which are like really metallic and just sparkly and beautiful and then they have uh the rare light cream luminizer highlighters and those are very much like just a glow to the face so i like all of their highlighter formulas i own all of their highlighter formulas not in every shade but i own all the highlighter formulas but this one just provides the most beautiful like shiny like metallicness to the cheeks and it just they just look wet and beautiful and you'll see that when i apply this so i take my finger i swirl it into the product and then i just tap it on the cheekbones, on the bridge of my nose, a little bit above my lip, and a little bit, a little bit on my chin. So you're gonna see how this applies and how beautiful it is on the skin. Look at how beautiful this is on the face. My cheekbones just look like they're wet, basically. And this is why I just love this product. And I just feel like it just lays beautifully on top of cream products. It just, just goes on the skin so easily. And you can layer it if you want more of an intense highlighter too, which is kind of what I did. I did a, about two layers on my cheekbones. This highlighter is just beautiful. And I love Ritua de Fee's other products, including their cream blushes and their other formulas of highlight. So the next step is to go back into my Maybelline cover stick with that concealer brush and spot conceal on the face. Okay, so that's it for all the spot concealing. Now I'm gonna go into my under eye concealer. The under eye concealer that I use is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is a great drugstore product. I absolutely love this. It covers dark circles really well. It goes on really creamy, but it doesn't crease under the eye. I absolutely love this stuff and I've been using it forever. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I'm gonna blend it in again with my sponge and that will be the under eye concealer. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now let's move into powders. So I use two different face powders, one for all over the face and one for underneath the eyes. So this is the one I use for all over the face. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and this is in the shade Diffused Light. I basically just use this because I like to set my face just to make sure my products don't move around, especially since I use so many creams, but I don't like a powder that provides a matte finish or a heavy finish or like a very like, you know, powdery finish. So I find that the Hourglass powder has a very glowy, natural finish to it, but it also sets my makeup, which is what I'm looking for. So I take this, I take my Ruffer number no. five powder brush, I tap into it, I tap the excess, and I just apply this all over the face, except for the under eyes. And the last step of my base is going into the Cody Air Spun Powder in Translucent Extra Coverage, and I put this underneath my eyes. So I personally use loose powder to bake underneath my eyes just because I prefer to do my face makeup first and because uh, of that I don't want any eyeshadows that I'm using to have any fallout underneath my eyes because especially if I'm using bright colors like blues or greens or purples, that fallout can be impossible to get away from underneath your eyes without leaving like streaks on your face. And that's not the look I'm going for. So I personally bake to catch fallout, but if that's something you don't like doing, you definitely do not have to bake. It's not a required step. It's just something that I prefer to do just because I use a lot of very pigmented, more powdery eyeshadows. There we go. As you can see, I don't use a lot of powder, just enough to catch that fallout. So I am going to do the rest of my makeup off camera and then I'll be back to give a little bit of a wrap up to this video. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate that you've spent some of your day with me watching me apply my dewy base and learning about which products I really like to achieve that look. So if you liked this video and you want to see more videos from me, you should definitely like this video. You should definitely subscribe to my channel. Um, and, uh, and if you love makeup, this is definitely one of the places to be on YouTube. Uh, at least I would like to think so. <laughs> so uh, thank you again for watching this video and being an engaged uh, viewer of my videos. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.